Hello, and welcome to the Killer Cuties podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Cassidy, and I've seen almost every horror movie out there. And I'm KD, and before we started, I'd seen almost none of them. So join us each week as I attempt to make a horror fan out of KD. As a warning, we will be discussing spoilers and some uncomfortable topics that may be in the plots, so feel free to check out the film on DoesTheDogDie.com first to check for any triggers before listening. Today, we're going to be talking about the hit 2009 zombie comedy film, Zombieland. Let's get spooky. All right. Should I kick us off with a summary? Yes, please. Okay. So, Zombieland starts off with Columbus, an introverted college kid with a list of survival rules. Uh, He's traveling from Texas towards Ohio to search for his parents. And on the way, he meets Tallahassee, who reluctantly agrees to accompany Columbus. Uh, Tallahassee also mentions that he misses his puppy, Buck, who was killed by zombies. The pair eventually meet two con artist sisters, Wichita and Little Rock, who trick them and steal their weapons and vehicle after Little Rock feigns being bitten by a zombie. The two men find another vehicle loaded with weapons and continue on before running into another trap set by the girls and they take them hostage. Tallahassee eventually steals his gun back and has a little standoff with Wichita until Columbus intervenes, saying they have bigger problems to worry about, and this kind of results in an uneasy truce between them. The sisters reveal that they're going to Pacific Playland Amusement Park in Los Angeles, an area that's supposedly free of zombies. And after learning his hometown has been destroyed and his parents are likely dead, Columbus and Tallahassee decide to accompany them. When the group reaches Hollywood, Tallahassee directs them to Bill Murray's house. Tallahassee and Wichita actually meet Murray. He's uninfected and disguised as a zombie. They play a prank on Columbus and Little Rock by having him pretend to be a zombie, only for Columbus to accidentally shoot and kill Bill Murray. Uh, Columbus also realizes that Buck was actually Tallahassee's son who got infected and died as a result. Despite Wichita and Columbus falling for each other, Wichita abruptly leaves with Little Rock for Pacific Playland the next morning. Columbus decides to go after them and convinces Tallahassee to join him. At Pacific Playland, the sisters activate all the rides and lights, only to unwittingly draw the attention of a multitude of zombies in the area. They become trapped on a drop tower ride as Tallahassee and Columbus arrive. Tallahassee lures the zombies into a game booth and kills several as Columbus heads to the drop tower. He evades and shoots through a horde and safely helps the girls down. Wichita kisses Columbus and reveals her real name, and the group then leaves together. And that's how it ends. Cute. (laughs) Adorable. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, you love a good rom-com. This is right up your alley, right? (laughs) Uh... Yep. You've got me pegged. Yeah. (laughs) Um, no, I fucking love this movie. Yeah. This is an incredible movie. It's great. Um, uh, yeah, I, I hate that every week I like, I'm like, well, did I really mean to write that last movie this? Or did I really mean to write this other movie that? This movie's making me feel that. Mm. But no, I, I, I've only watched it the first time that I watched it. And today I rewatched it. And I remember loving it the first time. I don't know why I haven't ever watched it again since then, but now I'm going to have to like binge it several times. Okay. You do that where when you like watch a movie you love, you just watch it over and over and over again. Yeah. Constantly. That's fair. I do that with TV shows a lot. Yeah. Skins. (laughs) Okay. Fuck you. First of all. (laughs) (laughs) I only watch skins when I'm spiraling. Okay. Okay, so... Constantly. Um, <laughs> uh, it never is not on your teeth. It is literally on right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think I did did it with movies a lot more when I was a kid. Like, I remember me yeah. and my sister and my cousin would just, like, rewatch the same movie all the time. And it was always... It, we, there were two that one summer we just, like, wore out... I don't even know if they were VHSs or DVDs, if I'm being honest. It was, like, the time period where they were, you know, we were using both at the same time. But it was Charlie's Angels and um, Billy Madison. We just watched those two movies on repeat constantly. Well, those are choices. Both great films. I'll stand by that. Yeah, Okay. 
They're both films. Yeah, we would pretend to be the Charlie's Angels. There were three of us, so it was, you know. Perfect. Perfect. Guess which one I was. I have never seen Charlie's Angels. What are you saying to me right now? The brunette one? Lucy Liu? Cameron Diaz? She's a blonde. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) Not in Shrek, she's not. No, uh, my sister always got to be Cameron Diaz. Because that's who everybody wanted to be. I was Drew Barrymore's character. Oh. (laughs) Don't know what that means. Okay, well, we're going to watch Charlie's Angels sometime together. (laughs) (laughs) I would watch it. I don't know why I haven't. I mean, I have nothing against the movie. Yeah, it's I like... I love Drew Barrymore. Great. Great start. And you know who else is in that? Bill Murray. Is he... He's in Zombies. So Charlie? I'm reconnecting him back to Zombies. No, is he, he is Charlie? not. Charlie? No, no, He plays Bosley. Oh, Bosley. So at work, I am in a little trio of girls yes and we have one like token guy that we call bosley and we call our boss our boss is angels right yes now i I have heard that yeah 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 um anyway so bill murray is in that film and this film yes we're tying it back although apparently bill murray did get fired so he didn't come back for the sequel for charlie's angels because apparently he's just a fucking asshole (laughs) Really? Yeah, like, he was, like, so mean to Lucy Liu. And I think he, like, made some, like, racist comments to her. I was going to say, if Lucy Liu is the one he was mean to? Yep. So, you know what? Mm -hmm. He dies in this movie, you know? Bye. (laughs) Damn, because he's funny in this movie. He is funny in this movie. The post credit scene? Yeah. (laughs) Cute, right? It's cute. (laughs) Yeah. I think it's good too because him and Woody Harrelson were in Kingpin together. So like they've already been in a movie together and like they were just shooting the shit. Yeah. Well, actually, so the cameo that he had was originally supposed to be Patrick Swayze. Yeah. But Patrick Swayze was obviously going through cancer. He was very, very ill. He wasn't able to film. He eventually passed away in 2009. Um, but they, when Swayze wasn't able to do it, they considered Sylvester Stallone, Joe Pesci, Mark Hamill, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Kevin Bacon, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and Matthew McConaughey. And I couldn't Most find... Most excellent choices. I know. They, they, I mean, they all kind of would have been hilarious, no matter who you chose for that. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't find who they, like, because they cast someone in it, and I couldn't find who it was, if it was one of them or someone else. Um, but whoever it was dropped out like a week before filming. And so Woody Harrelson was just like, oh, okay, hold on. And just like called up Bill Murray and was like, hey, can you do this? And he said, yeah, sure. So I just came out and did it. <laughs> That's so funny. And it's funny that Woody Harrelson's character is the one that's so obsessed with him too. Yeah. I love it because he's like, I-, I love all your movies. And it's like, you've been in one. <laughs> Yeah, he's, oh my god, that would have been so fucking funny if he just said Kingpin. Oh my god, I love Kingpin. Yeah. That would be so funny. <laughs> Mark Hamill's good for a cameo, too, though. Yeah. Mark Hamill just seems like a really nice guy, too. Yeah, he does. Love him. Yeah, I'm, you know, he seems fine to me. I'm a fan, sure. Yeah. Um, speaking of problematic... Uh, this movie took 47 days, I think, to film. Hmm. Would have taken 46. (laughs) But Woody Harrelson got arrested for smoking pot. Yeah. Or possession, either way. That sounds about right. That's that's very on brand. Yeah, let's be, like, we shouldn't arrest people for having marijuana. So, like, I don't. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we don't anymore, right? Like, that's not a thing. Oh, well, depending on what state you're in. It's yeah, still well, illegal in some states. Which is wild. Move. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Also, for people who were 
maybe gonna be involved in this movie but weren't john carpenter was originally interested in directing it when it was so it was supposed to be a tv show originally like that was Cute. the plan for it which they were gonna yeah. the like zombie kill of the week was gonna be like a recurring thing so like each week yeah, they'd cute. have that um so i'm just kind of glad that they kept that in but um but yeah so he was interested in directing it when it was going to be a tv show but then when it got like kind of switched and they decided to do a feature film he dropped out because he just wasn't able to like fit that into his schedule so yeah, yeah. Darn. man i love me a john carpenter I know you love your Halloween, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I, has he done any comedy anything? I don't know that I would like his tone in a comedy. Yeah, I'm not I really sure. Try it. I genuinely can't think of like. I'll be honest. I kind of know him just for like his horror movies, which have never been like super ha ha funny knee slappers. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Most aren't to, like, normal people. Yeah. Although, I, I'll stay, I'll die on the hill that comedy and horror are two genres that go so fucking well together. <laughs> I mean, this movie proves it. Yeah. All of the, all, like, Cabin in the Woods, Happy Death Day, Cream. We, I've been slowly getting to horror comedies that you enjoy, I think. We started out rocky as fuck, but like we're we're getting there. <laughs> the menu is not a fucking comedy. The menu, the menu is menu actually some... hilarious. No, it has like funny. a funny part. No, it has multiple funny it's parts. It's not a comedy. It is. No. I posted a TikTok on our joint account about this. It's not funny. It's not a horror comedy. Yeah, but I you expressly had to put it on in the tags that I did not approve of that because Yeah. I no, disagree. I disagree wholeheartedly <laughs> no god this movie is a horror comedy it's yeah. got gore it's got scares it's got laughs it also has cries like i was yeah. like i don't know cheering up it's got you know, heart when you, yeah when you find mm-hmm. out about the kid instead of the dog like i don't know which is sadder but they're both sad The, the I was gonna be really like, called "Does the dog die?" Like, I know, I know, I know. I was literally gonna be like, mm, "I'm not sure," but then, like in my mind, I'm kind of like, Ooh, "Am I?" <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah. oh. Uh, <laughs> did you know that was Abigail Breslin's dog? I did. Yeah. yeah. You read the same fun facts I did. No, you read the same. <laughs> so yeah. I did. Yeah, you're right. I literally just read them. Still actively read them right now. I just like I as soon as I get done with the movie, immediately I'm looking up everything about it. So it's just it's who I am at my core, you know. <laughs> you're assuming I didn't finish the movie like five minutes ago. You didn't because you messaged me literally hours ago saying, Haha, the post credit scene. <laughs> it's so cute. It is funny. Au revoir, gopher. You know what I liked about this movie? No. I like at the very beginning when it's like going through some of the rules and it shows the like little girl's party that gets turned into zombies and the mm-hmm. lady like drives off and they're like hanging onto her car. And when one of them rolls off, it's like so clearly a full grown <laughs> I don't know why I was just like cracking up when that happened. <laughs> Cause she's like hanging on like a little girl and then all of a sudden she rolls off and it's just like a human. <laughs> Not that children oh, are yeah. humans, sorry. I meant like an adult. <laughs> barely. Jesus. <laughs> As a mother to one, barely. Um She said it, not me. <laughs> so speaking of like the the rules and stuff, um mm-hmm. I go back and forth with this, so I would love your insight um do you feel like the voiceover and the like text overlays added value at all or could this movie have done without them Mm. i feel like it it added a little something extra to it 
I feel like it kind of made it a little unique and I like the rules. Like, I think that they're kind of funny. And I feel like because they're so intertwined in like who Columbus is as a character and mm-hmm. he kind of goes through the journey of like learning which rules to follow and which rules maybe not to, I think is kind of interesting. So I'm, I'm pro yeah. that. But yeah. yeah. What about you? Yeah, you didn't like I it? agree. Oh. No, I did like it. I, I did. Uh, but as, as I was enjoying it, I was like, I just kept thinking back to like Midnight Mass and how they just wouldn't shut the fuck up. Mm. Like you don't have to tell a story verbally. You can tell a story visually. But like for this movie, it totally worked. I loved it. And the 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 like whenever like I'd be like, oh, that's one of the rules. That's one of the rules. They're gonna put it on the screen. Yeah. It was always fun. But I also feel like it worked because it wasn't like heavy exposition. Like it it was like these fun little, like almost like fun facts throughout the movie. It wasn't like I'm going to tell you my life story and it's going to take five minutes and all you're going to watch is me and this person sitting on the couch while I tell you that. Yeah, exactly. That's a lot to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Midnight Mass. When it's just like a someone flies through their windshield and it's like, always wear your seatbelt. Like, that's funny. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, agreed, agreed. I'm glad I wasn't crazy. I, I didn't want to contradict myself after all the shit I talked about Midnight Mass. <laughs> <laughs> I use this as just a gotcha moment. Oh, <laughs> well, you said. But, sh- but you said 26 episodes ago. No one's allowed <laughs> to change their mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also, I mean, I think I said it many, many episodes ago where, like, I might contradict myself because there's sometimes that a movie does something and I hate it in the context of that movie. But then another yeah. movie could do the same thing, but they just do it better. And it works. Yeah. You know, so it's like, exactly. I feel like that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they do it way better in this movie. It's perfect in this. Yeah. You know what they did get wrong? Oh, God. The casting. <laughs> oh, no, I actually really like the cast. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say they didn't, they didn't use any fake blood. It was all added digitally afterwards. And I feel like oh. they shouldn't have done that. I don't like it. I feel like sometimes the blood looks really fake. And I'm also like, oh. was that cheaper? Because I've made fake blood at like my mom's house before with her ingredients. Like it's it's really cheap. I can't imagine that in 2009, <laughs> digital, digitally adding all of that blood was like an easier, cheaper route. Yeah. That- I, don't, I don't buy it. Yeah, no, I that had to have been. I okay, so I didn't have that problem. I didn't see it and think like, oh, that looks fake. Mm. I was fine with it. I I wouldn't even have noticed. The one thing I did have a problem with is that the vomit looked like applesauce. Did you want them to like, use real vomit? When, well, no, <laughs> but I also didn't want it to look like applesauce. Yeah, like if it had looked like bloody applesauce, that might have been a better. Well, maybe they had just eaten someone who had eaten applesauce. From their stomach outward? Yeah. Oh. I guess I never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, yeah. That, I, that, I think it's just... bother me. Like, that was the only thing. Yeah. Honestly, the thing that bothers me the most is, like, how did they still have electricity? It's been months. But why wouldn't they? What do you mean? If there's no one manning that, I've literally looked it up. If there's no one there to do like the routine tasks and direct the electricity, then guess what happens? It goes out. Everything I said or I looked up said that it would probably like if no one was actually manning the like stations and stuff it would probably go out in less than 24 hours because we use fossil fuels if it was a situation where we were using like solar pa- like power then it the, it would be fine but this is 2009 not many places were doing it and also it was in los angeles our parks don't really do that you know so wind turbines you do have wind turbines though in like not in los angeles <laughs> Not powering Los Angeles. 
Well, it, you don't think it <laughs> travels over there? I don't know how power works. It doesn't. Anyways, I looked it up. It, it, most of the things that I found said that because most of America runs on fossil fuels, it would likely be out within 24 hours. Um, at most, they said like a couple of days to a week. It's been months. There's no way that they're just flipping switches at the fucking Pacific playground and getting those rides to work. The street lights were on. Come on! <laughs> See, that's news to me also, because I was under the impression that most of America runs on Duncan. Don't. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. But also, I kind of appreciate it, because it is a movie, and it's like, whatever. Who cares? Does yeah. everything have to be perfect? And I would much rather watch a movie like this, where they're just like... There's electricity because we said so and because it's a movie and we can do that rather than mm -hmm. like trying to watch that ending scene in the complete darkness where like you can't fucking see shit, which every movie wants to do these days. Yeah. Or <sighs> worse, making the characters explain why there's power. Yeah. Like, just don't even bother. Just fucking do it. Who gives a shit? <laughs> cares what okay i <laughs> literally watched lord of the rings for the first time last year but <laughs> i will welcome. say thank you <laughs> <laughs> one thing that i liked is after i watched the movies i immediately looked up everything about it because that's what i do and one of the things that uh the director said was when asked where is the light coming from during the like night battle scenes he just said the same place the music is coming from and I was like, fuck yeah. Light your fucking night scenes because I can't see shit, okay? I don't, yeah. I don't care if there's not a logical explanation for where the light's coming from. I want to see what's fucking happening. Yeah, I agree. A thousand percent. <gasps> like, you can convey <laughs> darkness without yes. not using light. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's my biggest, biggest pet peeve. Strangle directors. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's valid. That's a valid pet peeve to have. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Ooh, also another thing. I'm like acting like this movie had like so many plot holes and stuff. It's like a horror comedy. It's not that serious. But no. <laughs> in when Wichita and Columbus are like having their little like wine and like, you know, romance thing. Wichita says that in 1997, she saw her first rated R movie, Anaconda. That movie was rated PG-13. <laughs> wow but she was also drunk so that one can kind of be explained away but <laughs> yeah that one can slide what was your first r-rated movie mm, oh shit what was it called it was a jennifer aniston movie what? and she was like having an affair with someone and we saw... Horrible uh, Bosses? No, no, no. Horrible Bosses came out when I was like 20 years old. Like, I talking? know, that's why I was confused. <laughs> oh. um, okay, I'm looking it up right now because there was a penis in it. And I remember watching it at a very young age and being like, <gasps> Oh my stars, <laughs> <It's a penis. laughs> Oh my stars. <laughs> oh my stars, that's a penis. Um, hmm. The Good Girl. It's called The Good Girl. And you wow. see a penis in it. And I was like, whoa, ho, ho. <laughs> what year was this? The year it came out, I think. I don't know. I was like, young. you're literally googling it right now. Oh, sorry, I just closed it. Hold on. 2002. That seems late. Maybe I did see an R-rated movie before then. That's the earliest one I can remember. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. That's true. That's true. But I remember I went like my sister was at her friend's house for a sleepover. And I got invited because her friend had a younger, like, cousin, I think, who was always there. So I always got invited because 
I could be like a playmate for the other girl, but the other girl never wanted to hang out with me. So I just ended up hanging out. she was just kind of like a loner, you know. And um, okay. so I would just end up hanging out with my sister and her friend, and they were watching that movie. And I was like, oh. that friend also watched a lot of horror movies. I saw my first horror movie at her house as well. Oh, it's traumatizing. <laughs> It was literally like a Lifetime movie. I rewatched it. It was so bad. Oh, my God. A Lifetime horror movie? I don't know if it was actually a Lifetime movie. It felt, like, rewatching it, it felt like a Lifetime movie. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. direct to DVD? Just, yeah, like, made for TV. Not. That movie was not in theaters. Oh, my God. Well, my <laughs> first R-rated film mm-hmm. was The A-Team. The A-Team? The new one? Like with Bradley Cooper? When did that come out? 2009? <laughs> 2010. You were 17 when you saw your first rated r that's how old you have to be to see an R-rated movie, I might remind you. <laughs> Nobody waits to <laughs> see it. I did. I saw it on my birthday. Good for you. Unless Gran Torino came out before then. Did Gran Torino come out before then? I think Gran so. Yeah, that came out in 2008. Oh, I did see Gran Torino. Okay, great. In theaters. Now we're time. cooking with gas. <laughs> Yeah, but only because my mom thought it was the story of Christ and it would fortify her children to know the story of Christ. So, Why did she think that? Because it is. Mm -mm. No. It's about (laughs) a man Um, who's um, pretty racist. (laughs) (laughs) Um, <laughs> yeah, um, sometimes it'd be like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the University of Nebraska Omaha says Christ resonates in Gran Torino. It's probably the, the journal entry that she was, she made me watch. What's going on in Fine. Omaha? <laughs> strange anyway we digress wow i think that if we're in a zombie apocalypse you should go by omaha because they use the locations you know are you did you watch the movie at all or yeah okay yeah so i was making a joke you know because like christ resonates in omaha you'd be omaha oh because the article. The University of it's Nebraska, fine. Omaha. Uh, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yeah. I Those actually weren't the names that they were originally going to be, though. In the original what script, it, it was supposed to be Flagstaff, Albuquerque, Wichita, and Stillwater. They only kept Wichita. Why would anybody want to go to Flagstaff? Um, I don't know. Maybe that's why they changed it. But I also think it's interesting because when they changed it, now the only one that's not a capital city is Wichita. Tallahassee's the capital of Florida? It is. I didn't even know about Tallahassee until I saw it. Well, it's the capital of Florida. <laughs> Omaha sounds like the capital. Nope. Lincoln, Nebraska. Wichita? Wichita is from Kansas. Is the capital? No. Wichita is the only one that's not a capital. What? Oh, Omaha is not a character. No. <laughs> Just a yeah, ago. that's a second. It's Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. Columbus. Tallahassee, Florida. Little Rock. Little Rock, Arkansas. And then Wichita, okay. Kansas. Is, Wichita's. It's not the capital. What's the capital of Kansas? Kansas? You don't know? 
Do you? Yeah. What is it? Topeka. <laughs> My dad used to think it was like a fun, goofy time if like he would quiz us on the capitals. Oh. That was like a fun game that we would play. It wasn't fun, but I do. I'm pretty good with my capitals now. <laughs> yeah. But I remember Topeka because my sister and I both then had separate incidents where we had to correct teachers who told us that something was the capital of a state and it was not. And that was my sister's. She went to school and they said it was Kansas City, Kansas. And my sister came home and was like, Dad, you're wrong. It's not Topeka. It's Kansas City. And my dad was like, Give me the phone. I'm calling the school. <laughs> oh, my God. And he had to tell the teacher to correct it because she was telling all the kids that it was Kansas City. And it was, in fact, not. Anyways. Oh, okay. What are we talking about? Zombieland. I'll get back right. to it right here. Ready? I'm about to pick it up. I'm about to combine two of our loves, video games and this movie. <laughs> Hell, yeah. So, apparently, it has been said that the idea for this movie was based off of the game Left for Dead 2. <laughs> Who specifically? Specifically, the second one. Uh, but apparently the devs wouldn't give the studio permission to, like, name it at all. <laughs> so they couldn't even, like, uh, credit it. They're lost. Yeah. This movie, movie did really slapped. well. It, it yeah. did do really well. Yeah. Yeah. And also and another... Yeah, who doesn't love Zombieland? It's a romp. Please. It is. Oh, we gotta um, put it on the chart. <laughs> on the rump chart. <laughs> romp chart. Um, I think one of my favorite fun facts from this movie, though, is that out of the four main cast, Emma Stone was the last of them to be nominated for an Oscar, but the first to win one. <laughs> Interesting. What did she win for? La La Land? Yeah. No, that was, like, recently. Honestly... That was 2016. That was seven years ago, babe. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That's right. That was the same year I met my husband. That movie sucked. Um, Didn't it? The end of that movie was ass. No, that was the only part I That's, liked. <laughs> uh, of, course, of course, you would like the end of it. But oh my god, the end of that movie made me so fucking mad. Oh, uh, terrible. Yeah, no. I think Woody Harrelson was the first nominated, and then Abigail Breslin, and then Jesse Eisenberg. My sister's keeper. No, she got nominated for Little Miss Sunshine. Oh, yeah, duh. And then Jesse Eisenberg for The Social Network. Social Network. I was going to say The Platform, but yes. This yeah. And then Emma Stone was nominated for Birdman, but she didn't win until La La Land. Birdman? Birdman! <laughs> I remember that movie, but that movie was like one of the first movies I remember people being like really like like weirded out by or like it went viral or some shit. I don't know. Hmm. Liked it or it was weird or yeah, it had like Black Swan vibes or I don't know. <laughs> Michael Keaton, right? Yeah, Not Michael. <laughs> yeah, Michael Keaton. It was wasn't it because like. I don't want to say all of it, but, like, most of it was shot in, like, single takes. That's Is that right. what I'm thinking That's of? Right. That yeah. Might, yeah, that might be it. Yeah. That it was, like, yeah. A lot there of was it was just, like, it. continuous takes, and that's why everybody was, like, losing their goddamn minds about it. Yeah. I didn't see it, so I don't know if it's good or not. I also did not see it. But I did recently have a dream that I was in New York City, and I got a little tip-tap on my shoulder, and someone's like, hey, I like your shirt, and I turned around, and I'm like... Thanks. And I was wearing a Beetlejuice shirt and I was like, thanks, dude, whatever. And went on my merry way and my husband's like, dude, that was Michael Keaton. What are you doing? That would be my luck. I would do that. I would do that. That's my biggest fear. I'm sorry that that manifested like that in your dream. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I would 100% do that as well. So what, like you just wouldn't recognize them? No, I feel like I, well, I feel like I would know who they are, but like not, yeah, like not recognize them right away. Because that's happened okay. to me before. Where like, like I told you about like seeing Evan Peters 
and just being like, oh, that guy looks like Evan Peters. And it wasn't until like after I passed him that I was like, oh, that, because it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember, I remember this, I remember this. <laughs> so I feel like I could be in that same situation that you were in your horrifying nightmare. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely five out of five scary. <laughs> Yeah, um, like that that meme of Tony Hawk where Tony Hawk's at the airport and the guy's like, "Oh, Tony Hawk, like the skateboarder." And Tony Hawk's like, "Yeah." And the guy's like, "Wonder what he's up to." And Tony Hawk's like, "This <laughs> probably going through airport security right now." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we kind of talked about it like as we went on, but was there anything that like you really didn't like about the movie? Um, a couple casting choices I'll keep to myself. No, please. And I just really don't like Amber. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just don't like her. Um, and I don't like Emma Stone either. Yeah, you really don't like Emma Stone. No, she was she was okay in this though. I didn't mind her too much. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's good. That's you know progress. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, like, outwardly despise her. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I love Woody Harrelson. So, mm. Honestly, put whoever you want in this movie, as long as Woody Harrelson's in it. <laughs> um, other than that, I mean, no. Like, I, I mean, I think I mentioned, like, the... I was kind of taken out of the movie with just how much monologue there was. Mm. But I think, it, again, it was just because I was, like, comparing it to, like, well, this didn't work in Midnight Mass. Like, why is it working in this movie? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Other than that, how about you? Yeah, not really. I feel like, for the most part, this is a pretty solid film. I can't think of anything, like, outwardly that I... The fake blood kind of bothers me a little bit. But Uh I am, like, a huge fan of practical effects, so, like... If you can do it, I would rather see that. Um, yeah. Because I think we've we've come so far with practical effects, too, where, like, I've seen movies that use it and do it so well that, like, you would almost think it's digital. Um, so I think I just appreciate it a lot. I mean, I don't even think I've even thought of people using digital moulage. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, <laughs> just use moulage. Like, you know? That's, Yeah. It it feels like fake blood is like the easiest thing you could possibly do. Yeah. When me and my friends made a horror movie when we were like 14 years old, we used fake blood. Like we, <laughs> because it was and so easy. Episode 100, we're reviewing that movie. We never finished it, unfortunately. <laughs> oh no. I know. We never shot the final uh the final scenes. And if I'm being honest, I have no idea where it even is. It was on, like, a video camera at my mom's house, so I don't think that she even still has it. She might have it somewhere. I don't know. The trailer for it was on YouTube, though. So (laughs) it's probably still out there somewhere. However, okay, here's what happened. We were going to name it The Void. And so you used to be able to go on and search the Void trailer on YouTube and it would pop up. However, since then, an actual horror movie named The Void has come out. So now when you search the Void trailer, it's just that. And you can't really find one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's for the best. <laughs> yeah. I had a similar experience where I made a movie with friends in which... I played both Jane Goodall and the chimpanzees, which she befriends. You can imagine how that went down. I would like to see it. No. <laughs> Not out of your life. You're, Over you're my... like, I know exactly where it's at and you'll never see it. <laughs> I, I, literally, it's behind me. It's like, it's in a box up here. There. Oh my gosh. There. That's incredible. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready to see it. Never. I'm not about to be canceled. <laughs> like 90% of the home movies I made with my cousins are on YouTube. Yeah. Find them. 
You could try, but I think you'd either have to know my cousin's name or the name of the video to find them, and I'm not saying either of them, so. <laughs> Got it. I happen to know but your cousin's name. I don't think you know that cousin's name. I have a million cousins, and I don't, I don't believe I've shared their, their name with you yet, so. I believe you underestimate my ability to Facebook stalk people. <laughs> I'll just start looking at all your cousins. Okay, PRP, I gotta go delete my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> um, aye, aye. Yeah. All right, well, how scary did you think it was? What? Yeah. Not scary at all. Just not scary. You? One. It's a vibe thing again. It's, it's a romp. Yeah. It's not scary. Yeah. I wish it was a little scarier. Because then it would have checked all the boxes, but. Yeah. Yeah. Just a one. A bug just flew in my face. That was scary. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. I know you were looking down and I was like, oh, I'm fighting my demons over here. <laughs> Um, how, what's next? <laughs> Whatever you want to be next. <laughs> how sexy was it? Oh, I gave it like a, like a 1.5, 2. I don't know. I think Emma Stone's kind of hot in this. <laughs> I like the dark red on her. It looks good. The hair. Yeah, okay. Then, you know, the eyeliner. Yeah post-apocalyptic baddie vibe going on. I like it. <laughs> Who has time for that in zombie apocalypse? Literally nobody has time for that. I'll be making time. Monkey eye. I'll be making time. <laughs> I'm going to look good if there's zombies chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't even um, look good when zombies aren't chasing me. <laughs> oh, you do? Oh. Um, <laughs> I also gave it to you. Okay. Look at us go. Yep. For what? Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, you know, Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone, just because I don't like her doesn't mean she's not hot. <laughs> um, Jesse Eisenberg. He's cute you know, in this movie. Yeah. He's I endearing. He's a little, he's a little, a little cutie. Yeah. All right, cool. How fucked up? Uh, one and a half. Okay. What gave it the half? The kid dies. The kid dies. Buck. Yeah. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I mean, pretty, pretty straightforward. Yeah. People getting shot, blood everywhere. No big deal. Yeah. Whatever to my cold, dead heart. It's typical Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I give it a one. It's just like not even a half. It's typical zombie shenanigans. Yes, Buck dying is very sad, but I think because it's just like mentioned offhandly, like you don't really see anything happening with it. It's kind of like it's sad. It's not really fucked up to me personally. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Overall, overall. Oh, are you going first or should I? <laughs> I'll go first. Okay. I'll go first. Because um, I'd like to amend. I'd like to amend some previous statements I have made. Uh oh. Okay. Previously, Here we go. previously I had said that Happy Death Day is a perfect movie. It is not a perfect movie. <laughs> I was I wondering enjoy... how long it would take before you amended yeah. that because you've that's what you've done with all your fives. So. <laughs> So, um, this movie is better. I enjoyed this movie better. Okay. Much more. I don't think this movie is a five. I think it's a four and a half. So, Happy Death Day is being demoted to a 4.25. <laughs> this movie is a 4.5. I know okay. that just fucks our math, but we're going to have to go and redo the math again. And we're going to have like a 0. .33 in there or some shit. But, you know, like... You don't have to have a different rating for every film. Yeah, I do. Okay. No, because this movie is better. It is better. Okay. So it can't be the same. Yes, it can. No, it cannot. In my heart. They're it can not be. the same. 
But my heart is different. Okay. It's less cold. Hey, wouldn't that be more cold? <laughs> <laughs> no. My heart's less cold because I'm just so full of love for films that I'll give multiple films a five out of five. <laughs> then, then I'm cold. Yeah. Then I'm cold. Um, no, this movie is a four and a half. Okay. Almost a perfect movie. Though I don't know what could make it better. And so we still are better. back on the hunt for a five out of five for you. Yeah, I think what would have... Actually, I know what would have made this one. If it had any amount of scary in it. Like, if it was okay. scary at all. Okay, so you're still trying to find that mix of... Very funny, it's, very scary. Which I don't yeah, think is a thing that's going to happen for you, if I'm being honest. It's just gory comedy. It's not yeah. horror comedy. It's gore comedy. Let's move on. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, would you survive? Oh, you don't even want to know what my overall score was? No, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> forgot yeah, yeah i but, figured you did um four out of five <laughs> okay that's pretty good yeah i think this movie's great it's a fun good story it's it's a romp i love a good yeah. romp and i also think that this movie is a good like introductory horror movie like if you have someone who's not really into the genre and kind of wants to get into it this is a great starter yeah. film because it's not that scary it's it's funny and it's goofy and it's like oh zombies um you know but it's still a fun yeah, time. Totally. Yeah, for sure. Agreed. And you wouldn't survive it. You you wouldn't survive it? You. You're telling me, because I think I get to answer for myself. Oh, okay. Would okay. you survive? <laughs> I yeah. would not survive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not following 180 rules. Hell no. It's a lot of rules. But also, I mean... None of the other characters were following the rules. Yeah, and there were only four of them. Out of all of the people in the world. Five, if you count Bill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> and in the sequel, there's more, so. Oh, spoiler alert. Oh, sorry. Kidding. Have you not seen um, the sequel? No. It's kind of funny. Funnier than this one? I don't know. There's a character. No, but there's a character I really like. <laughs> it's, just, it's just fucking hilarious. <laughs> Who's in it? Uh, they add Zoe Zoe Dutch. Is that how you say her name? And then uh, Avin Jogia. They they're like the okay. new additions to the cast. Cute. Watch it. Yeah, it was good. It was a decent sequel. Um, are you surviving? No, no. Um, from everything that they like, kind of showed us at the beginning of the movie, it seems as though the outbreak happened incredibly quickly. Um, and the zombies can run, so I think that's just a recipe for disaster for me. In all honesty, it'd probably be about like four days, be depending on when the outbreak happened, that I would even realize that it was happening. But. <laughs> Actually, my electricity would go out, so I'd probably be like, what the heck is happening? <laughs> True. But, well, I mean, in the movie, electricity doesn't go out. Yeah, exactly. You're fine. So I'd be just kind of chilling. But as soon as I had to go get groceries, I think I'd be dead pretty fucking quickly. Yeah. 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 I mean, if rule number one is cardio, fuck that. I'm not doing cardio. Yeah, give me like a couple months. I'll start working on it now. That way, if the zombie apocalypse happens in like October, I'll be ready. Okay, so in October, we'll reevaluate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll come back and <laughs> talk. I'll plan a zombie movie for October or something. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're at the time where you are going to predict the next movie's plot. Are you ready? Yes. All right. The next movie we are going to be watching is Us. 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 The, tw the 2019... Alien abduction movie. Damn. And what happens? They're on a farmhouse. They're in a farmhouse. And 
Jordan Peele's there. Mm. And Jordan Peele and his ensemble cast yes. of other people <laughs> are working on this farm. Mm-hmm. And one of them watches somebody be abducted by an alien. Wow. Yeah. It's riveting. Mm -hmm. And then um, everybody has to just figure out how to not be abducted by aliens. And do they? Together. Wow. Us. Us. It's all coming. It's all coming around. Okay. So just the one death, the one person gets abducted. Yeah. Okay. Just one. All right. Yeah. And then they figure how do they defeat the aliens? I don't I don't think they defeat them. I think mm. they learn how to live with them. Coexist. Yeah. You us. Know, there's some cows involved. Us. There's some cows involved. Probably maybe they like start like manufacturing cows for the aliens to abduct take. instead. Mm-hmm. Sexy. Yeah. Great. And that's the end. There you have it. Was I right? You were thinking of nope. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Which is another Jordan Peele movie and yeah. it is about aliens, but it is not this movie. <laughs> Damn. So you What's were this one about? closer to that movie's plot than this one. Shoot. We haven't watched an alien movie yet. Yeah, oh, the we thing. Watched alien. An alien. <laughs> We watched two. <laughs> I, guess, I guess the thing is, yeah, I I blacked out watching the things that we sucked ass. Okay. That's why I put it early on, because you liked it when we watched it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, you, you said it was fun. Well, I lied. Yeah, sorry. Or I had a much more fun time since then. <laughs> yeah, you have. <laughs> I don't hate the thing. I think it's like fun. It's just, you know. I, you know I get what it's a cool class. Me? What? Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. <laughs> I need you to stop bringing that movie up. This is like the third time in like two weeks. <laughs> I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> you should. No. It's spooky. No. You know what movie scared the shit out of me when I was a kid that has aliens in it? Mars Attacks. The Star Wars, the Star Wars, isn't that the Star Wars spoof? Oh, is it? I don't know. I've never seen Star Wars. Yeah. No, that's Spaceballs, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, Mars Attacks is like, it is fucking hilarious. I've rewatched it since and it's a great movie. But no, it's it's meant to be a comedy. But when I watched it, when I was like fucking five years old, I was like, these aliens are coming for me. Oh my god! Oh no! It's alright. That right. was me and I the, lived. the the Chris the Dark Crystal the Dark Crystal. Oh yeah, okay. Maybe it's crystals. Maybe that's what I'm afraid of. Oh my god! Let me try to find a crystal movie for you. Okay. But until then, I'm very excited to watch the uh, supernatural or not supernatural, like an alien movie. <laughs> Us. Is it supernatural? Is it actually supernatural? What is it? You'll have to wait and see. Why can't you just, I'm just gonna Google it. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> just for once, watch the <laughs> fucking movie. <laughs> I do watch the movie after I figure out what genre it is. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, that wraps it up for today. If there are any movies you'd like to hear us talk about or you'd like to traumatize me with, please let us know in the comments or shoot us a DM on our socials at Killer Cuties Podcast. Thanks so much for listening. We hope to see you next week when we talk about the 2019 psychological horror film written and directed by Jordan Peele, Us. We'll see you then. Bye.